Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I just wanted to make a real quick video covering people's questions on melding of the flesh. Um, so before I start, I do want to state for people who don't know what melding of the flesh does, essentially it minuses all of your uh, maximum res, but allows you to scale a single element's max res to make it so your other elements can catch up to that. So TLDR, if I take out my melding, I have 90 cold with 78 fire and 78 lightning. When I put melding in, it allows those two res to match the cold res. Now you still need to have enough resistance to cancel out the downside, which is minus 75 all res. So if you notice, I have like 205, 211, 187. You don't have to worry about your chaos. Uh, now in conjunction of how I'm getting everything set up here, I wanna go ahead and pay a little bit of attention to my gear and the atlas tr or the tree. So uh, real fast, I'm gonna just pull up this little notepad. So we have 75 base res. My Aegis Aurora is giving five max cold. So that puts us to 80. Um, I've got three from the tree. So that would be prismatic skin plus this. So that puts us to 83. Um, I've got three from my chest piece. So that's gonna be two from the actual maximum cold. And then I believe it's every 25%, might be 35, I forgot POB shows it, but I think it's every 25% hits you a plus one max res on your purity. Um, so that gets us, I forgot, I'm bad at counting. Uh, and then I have eight from my purity of ice itself. And all of this together allows me to cancel the downside of melding. Now, a couple things to state. In my POB for League Star, you'll notice the melding has a double cluster setup. That doesn't mean you have to be double cluster setup. It's just most people prefer to have more damage than defense. So I gave options with the double cluster. By no means are you forced or required to use a double cluster setup. Um, so just to confirm here on the purity, if I go ahead and toggle my purity off, you'll notice I'm 82 and 82. Whereas when I toggle it, it pushes me all the way to 90. Now this is because of number one, the aura effect breakpoints I was talking about, but also number two, you wanna make sure you have a 23 purity of ice because it gets another plus one max res. You'll notice if I take the purity out of my gloves, it only says you and nearby allies gain four, with it at 23, it gains plus one. Now the way I'm acquiring that is simply put, uh, plus one level of socketed AOE gems in my gloves, a level 21 purity, and either plus one all spell skills on your weapon, or plus one all spell skills on your amulet. Of course, both will work just fine. Um, if you are going double cluster setup, you are most likely culling the whole bottom side of the tree or the top side to make up the max res. You can also get plus one max res or actually two cold res on your gloves instead of fire multi, which you can justify because you're going entire double cluster setup. You can also, I believe, you might be able to elevate the max cold res. I forgot entirely. You could get a higher uh, increased aura effect on your purity and go for another breakpoint via uh, aura effect scaling here alongside with a, uh, a maven hold jewel over here for influence aura effect or simply getting more aura effect on a brutal restraint. Uh, so you can absolutely hit 90 max cold res with a second cluster or 90 all res. It's just going to be a lot more expensive. Um, you could also take into look at looking at these small aura clusters for max cold res, although I typically would say to avoid those unless you are in the double cluster setup. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this short video, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.